we're on the wrong side of the cost curve. Uh, we need to find a more efficient, effective way to take out these low-cost drones. Um, that work is is was in progress during my watch, and it continues to be in progress. What we were very focused on is not conveying that problem set or that issue down to our commanders. We didn't want them worrying about cost efficiency. We wanted them worrying about defense in depth, protecting their own ship and protecting the defended asset, whether it's a commercial vessel or the aircraft carrier. Um, so there's there's definitely the tactical side of things is things are working exactly where they're designed. There's the business problem. We have to find a better solution here. And I'll, I'll add to that what what the Red Sea unpacked for us, what Ukraine unpacked for us is we'd be, become a service that was used to minimum sustaining rates. What do I mean by that? You know, what does it take if you take the standard missile two built by Raytheon, for example, you know, what is the minimum sustaining rate to keep that thing alive? Given our current engagements, our current conflicts, we're starting to think about maximum sustaining rate, increasing our weapons inventory. That's no small task because the industrial base, I would just say, isn't where it needs to be. And and that's work that we, we have to complete. But two parts. One, we are getting after less costly capability that can defeat that that unmanned threat. And then longer term, we're building our industrial base to make sure we have their proper inventories.